Hey everyone, Billy here with Ultra Bright Lights. We get many questions about using the Z Flash software, including how to edit a pattern, import someone else's pattern, check for updates, and more. We have several videos explaining the various aspects of the software, but wanted to take an in-depth look to thoroughly explore its many great features. We will be talking about a lot in this video, so you can check the description for timestamps if you're looking for information on a specific feature. In order to use the Z Flash software, we first need to download it. You can do this by going to the Z Flash product pages at ultrabrightlights.com. To find the software, go to the Z Flash page for your vehicle. Then scroll down to the selection labeled Downloads and click on Software. Once it's downloaded, click on the file, and the Z Flash Utility Setup Wizard will pop up. Hit Next. It then asks where you want to save the file. If you want to use the folder that is automatically created, just hit Next. Finally, hit Install to begin the installation process. Now wait for the program to install. You may receive a pop-up window instructing you to install certain drivers required to use the software. Agree and then install these drivers. Hit finish on the pop-up to complete the installation process. To automatically launch the ZFlash software, check the box here that says Launch ZFlash Utility. Once you've downloaded the ZFlash software, make sure you plug your ZFlash into your computer using the provided USB cable. Open up the program, which looks like this. You have the options of update device, configure device, or exit. Before doing anything, we highly recommend that you check your device for updates. Click update device, then click check for updates. Once you do, it'll let you know whether it needs to update or if you have the latest version. And if you need to update, it'll say to update the module here. Once you update your device, click the manual tab and hit default settings. It then asks, are you sure you want to factory reset your device? And you hit yes. Wait for the countdown to end to know that the process is complete. This is an important step to ensure that your software runs properly. To double check that it's updated, click get version and it'll tell you what version of the software you have. Make sure it matches the latest version. Once you've confirmed that your device is up to date, you can start setting up your Z Flash by clicking on configure device. We recommend that you bring your laptop out to your vehicle and connect the Z Flash to both your computer and your car. This will allow you to see the changes you are making to configure the patterns in the way you want them. As you're creating your patterns, you can test them out by using the options in the settings. You can test out all six patterns and then make the changes as you need. In this column labeled included in flash pattern, you have a selection of lights. You can control which ones you use by checking or unchecking the corresponding boxes. If you remove lights here, Instead of here, in the Pattern Build section, the lights will be turned off for all six of your patterns. For instance, if you uncheck low beams, they will be turned off for all patterns. If you just delete the low beams in this section, they will be removed for the current pattern, which right now is Pattern 1. Now you select which lights you want to add to your pattern here using the light drop-down menu. For example, we can choose a right front low beam. Now you can choose to have this light on or off. If you want the lights to flash, any light you turn on, you then later need to turn off. If you don't shut them off, the lights will remain on a steady burn. And if you have a light initially set to off, but don't add it in as a later step set to on, the light will remain off. We recommend that you turn a light on or off about 10 to 15 steps after adding that light to the configuration. This is because milliseconds pass between each step. So if you turn a light off too soon, the flash wouldn't even be noticeable. So as you see here in step one, the left front high beam is on, and then we scroll down to see that it is turned off at step 24. We want to be clear that this process requires quite a bit of trial and error, and patterns will look different on each vehicle. This is why we recommend bringing your laptop out to your vehicle plugging in the Z Flash to your laptop and the OBD2 port of your car and working on the patterns so you can quickly check the pattern design and make changes in real time. You can also add a delay to your pattern to increase time in between flashes. If you'd like to add or remove a step, for example, between step seven and eight, right click your mouse on step seven and a menu will pop up, allowing you to insert or delete a step. Select insert and it adds a new step below step seven, creating a new step eight. This will make it easy to make changes to your pattern. 
If you've made several changes and want to go back to the original setup, you can either click Reset to Defaults within the Configure Device section or factory reset by going to Update Device, Manual, Default Settings. To build a pattern from scratch, you can clear one of the preset patterns by clicking Clear like this. Within the software, you can change the speed of your lights for your flash patterns. We have options of slow, medium, fast, and ludicrous. We recommend medium or fast for halogen lights. This is because halogen lights take a longer time to turn on and off, and faster settings will not allow them to do so, so your flash patterns will not work how you'd like. The Z flash will automatically sense what kind of lights are on your vehicle. If there are lights configured into a pattern that are not on your vehicle, the Z flash will detect this and skip those steps. The HV trigger can only be used if you're using the hardwire cable. It has three modes. There are only two wires on the hardwire cable. One wire goes to one switch, another wire to a different switch to control modes one and two. Activating both switches allows you access to mode three. You can name each of your six patterns whatever you'd like by editing it in the space next to the pattern name. With Chrysler vehicles, the names will show up on the dashboard. Once you complete your pattern, you can share it with your friends. So let's say we've completed our custom pattern here. You'll hit save as file, and save it to your desktop or wherever you'd like on your computer and hit save. You can then take that file and share it with whoever you'd like. It's as simple as that. Now, if someone sends you a pattern that you want to use on your Z Flash, you can easily make their custom pattern as one of yours by downloading the file sent to you, opening up the Z Flash software, and dragging the file onto the pattern number you'd like to set that pattern as on your device. Once the pattern has copied onto the device, be sure to hit save to Z Flash. The Z Flash software gives you plenty of control as to how your lights will look on your vehicle. There are countless ways to create and customize your flash patterns and then share them with your friends. We are excited to see what awesome patterns you create. We hope this gives you a better understanding of the Z Flash software and its capabilities. But if you still have any questions, please comment down below or you can contact us via Facebook, Instagram, by phone, or at ultrabrightlights.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.